Hey everyone, Technical Mentor here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to increase your internet connection on a Windows 10 or 11 computer, PC, or laptop. So let's get started. The very first thing you want to go ahead and do is look for Device Manager. So you're going to search in the search bar Device Manager. Let's search for Device Manager. And then from here on, we're going to go to Network Adapter. So you're going to expand that. And then find your network adapter. As usually, it's going to say Wi Fi for using Wi Fi. You're going to tap on it to right click and then you're going to click on update driver so we're going to search basically see if there's any update out usually if you update your computer there's usually update for the driver if there is it might have not gotten updated so we're going to go update it and then you can also search for updated driver on the update if you didn't go ahead and update your computer to get the latest driver update now once you have done that the next thing you want to go ahead and do is exit out of it find your battery power setting and make sure it's not selected battery saver. If you have battery saver on, it reduces to certain functionality such as the Wi-Fi connectivity. So you want to take off, off that and if you have high performance, you want to try to turn that on. Of course, that's going to consume more battery, but if you want faster internet, you want to make sure you're uh, using the most performance setting as well and you may want to connect to your computer as well. Now after you have done that, the next thing you're going to do is go into search here and then search for view network connections which is a in the control center if you don't see it when you search it and from there on you can see your wi-fi here you're going to right click and then click on properties now in the properties here we're going to see this section and then go to where it says internet protocol version click on it and then right click or click on properties now once you click on properties here we're going to test out two different basically dns server that will make the connection even faster. First one you're going to try is one and then you're going to keep on going one and then go one and then one again and then for the alternative DNS we're going to go with one this time zero zero and then last bit one one so make sure exactly like this this is basically a DNS that allows internet connection to be faster. So we're gonna try that, hit OK, and see how your internet connection is. Make sure, again, to check this one out. Now, if this one doesn't work, there is another one you can also use, same thing. You can try the Google one, uh, which is basically a, 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 and then this is gonna, the alternative one is gonna be a, a, so eight, and then we're gonna do four, and then four as well. This is the GNS one for Google. Try both of them. See which one, depending on the region that you're in, one of them might be faster than the other one. So test them between them. Now, after you have done that testing, then you're gonna go to where it says configure here. So we're going to hit continue so we made some changes so if you make the changes just going to hit okay and then go to advance here in advance here you're going to verify or change these settings first one it's going to be down here channel bandwidth for 2.4 ghs make sure it says auto same thing for channel bandwidth for basically 5 gs ghs make sure it's auto as well and then fat the fat channel intolerant make sure this one is disabled and then we're going to down a little bit further to preferred band. We're going to go ahead and change this to prefer 5 GH Z band. That's going to be faster. And then roaming aggressiveness, depending on how far you're away from the router, you want the lowest settings. If you're closer, the lower. If you're further away, you want to go up this one. So this will help ensuring that roaming aggressiveness. And once you verify or change these settings, so hit OK. And then your Wi-Fi should reconnect again. Wait for it to reconnect. And what are you gonna do is, as you can see, it's reconnecting. If it doesn't reconnect right away, just disconnect and reconnect and then reboot your computer, which you turn it on and off. And with these settings on, you should see a massive improvement in your internet connections. And I hope this video is helpful. So please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks. We'll see you guys next time.